This channel uh, will not become a baby specific channel. Like it's not going to become about raising a kid or anything I was like that. Say, I'm sure there's several people who don't care about this at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this channel is not going to become a parenting channel. But with a baby, it's obviously part of my life, and it will be in here. Um, I'm still going to do stuff. I've got some stuff lined up. I've been talking to a buddy and. Um, after the first of the year, we're gonna go snowboarding and like, I'm gonna do some stuff like that and it's gonna be, you all right? It's gonna be cool, like, so it's not gonna become just the parenting thing. It's not only gonna be about baby stuff. Um, I went back and forth, and you can, Tracy can vouch, I think. Um, I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted him to even be in the vlog or how much he was gonna be in my vlogs, but with him being part of my life, he's gonna be in it. But again, just to reiterate, if you're wondering or scared that this channel is going to change, it's not. It's still going to be my daily life, but there's going to be some of him in it because that is part of my life now. But no, this is not a how-to parenting or anything like that. It's just going to be a small part of it. Well, what's up, guys? So uh, today is my last day at home with the baby, so I opted uh, not really to vlog hardly anything today um, because I want to spend time with him, but I am going to take a few minutes out and just do a quick video with Tracy, and we're just going to kind of reflect on the last 12 days, almost two weeks of being a parent. So we thought that we would answer a few questions, not necessarily that you guys have given us because I don't get a lot of comments and stuff from time to time, but uh, these are kind of just common questions we get from people that we know um, and stuff like that, so I figured I would answer it. That's it just peeped in the floor. That's it just peeped in the floor? I don't know. We need to go clean that up. Probably. Do that now. All right, so yeah, these are going to be just some questions and stuff and just general ideas and stuff that we've had since then. But first, um, Tracy gets asked kind of, well, not really often, but sometimes, like, how bad did it hurt uh, giving birth? I mean, it wasn't pleasant, but epidurals helped. Yeah, she had an epidural, so it didn't really, I mean, it, you know, still wasn't awesome. You could just feel the pushing, correct? Like, uh, uh, yeah, and then a lot of, look, only in the upper stomach, right? Yeah, but then a lot of burning. And then a lot of burning, yes. so. Epidurals make it much more tolerable. Mm -hmm. How was the first night with the baby? Uh, the first night, I think we were both really, really kind of scared, honestly. Her mom was up here, my mom was up here. I think my dad came up too. There was a bunch of people up here. And then once they all left, it was kind of just like, oh crap, this is like our responsibility. We have to keep this baby alive, and that's kind of scary, but... Uh, I don't know if it's instincts or what, but it just kind of kicks in or whatever it is and you just kind of understand what to do. Now the first night I let her sleep because of how much pain and stuff she was in from the recovery from giving birth and I took care of the baby that night. But ever since then we've both been waking up with the baby. Which kind of goes into the next point of how well does he sleep at night. And honestly, um, the first couple of nights was just that transition of getting used to him being here and us figuring out what to do. But then what? It was like five or six nights in a row that he slept all the way through. Yeah, up until the last two nights he slept all the way through. Yeah, yeah. up until the last few nights he slept all the way through. And then the last two nights he he's... He woke up at like three and then like six or seven. Yeah, he just woke up around three and then six or seven. But it's not him crying. He just starts making a little bit of noise like, hey, yo, I'm hungry. So we feed him, change his diaper, and he goes to sleep. He doesn't really cry. He very rarely cries, like, which I talked about this in a past vlog, but like when we went to the hospital to do that PKU test and they have to uh, take a, like a, um, uh, basically a pick or a, a pick, like some, some kind of thing and they stick his heel and he kind of, he opened his eyes real wide and was like kind of shocked for a second and he whined for a second, but he didn't really cry. He's been a really, really calm baby, which has made the transition into parenting very, very easy. But we keep bragging about that, so he'll start screaming shortly. I'm sure that, yeah, I'm sure that we jinx that because I, I brag about that to everybody, but it has. You know, hopefully, knock on wood, it won't be bad. Um, today is December the 11th, which is his due date, so we're thinking we're, we're going to see how he is tonight. Maybe, uh, maybe he's still kind of in that, oh, I'm supposed to be in the womb type of stage, and now that his delivery date is here, maybe he'll start acting crazy. But hopefully not. Hopefully he'll maintain being a really calm baby. The other thing is, he eats a bunch. Like, occasionally he'll eat just a little bit, but then the last couple of days, he's ate like 20 or 22 ounces, hasn't he? Like 20. So he eats a lot, and it, you know, it... We are at Walmart, you know, again, I've, in my vlogs I've showed it, but we've been at Walmart like literally every other, every other day buying formula because he goes through he so goes much. He goes through like a box a day of those bottles. Yeah, we have the pre-made bottles. 
which are really, really good, especially if you need something really, really quickly. I don't know if you can see those because I'll need to fix this white balance. But anyway, uh, we buy these. Um, so if you need something super quick, uh, we can get it. Now, one thing that we have started buying because it's a lot cheaper is this stuff. Um, which is the same thing. It's just it's not dispensed. The, the same bottles. thing, just not like this. And it's actually you get double the amount in this that you do in the packs of these, and it's ten cents more. So uh, we have a bottle warmer and stuff, and we're we try to start using that. Um, but at first we used these because he didn't eat a whole lot. He ate two ounces at a time, but now he's eating about four ounces at a time. So this is going to be the go-to. He doesn't care for the pattern. As much. Powder he doesn't care for and I don't know if it's because of the way that I mix it or what I was actually talking to a guy at Walmart today because I had to go buy some stuff and he was talking about how the powder is tough because the babies especially if you're using this or whatever they're used to a certain consistency um, and stuff like that and if you're using the powder you might get it too watery if or you might get it a little too thick it's kind of like chocolate syrup made with syrup versus the powder that's true too, yeah. So I'm sure that there is a difference. Right now, he's used to this. I mean, it's not overly expensive. It's not breaking us right now. I mean, it's this stuff is kind of ridiculous, but that's why we're trying to go to this. But um, you know what? If, if that's what he eats, then that's what he eats, and that's what we're going to have to do. We're lucky right now because we have some gift cards uh, that people got us for the baby, and we're using that on the baby formula. Uh, so hopefully, you know, hopefully we can make it through uh, the next little bit. So like I said, tomorrow I go back to work. It's going to be Tracy taking care of him. Tracy's off. Uh, she's on maternity leave. She's a teacher and she's off through, I don't know, like February sometime? The end of February. End of February. And then a snow day stack, she will be at home. And then her mom will probably be over here sometimes during the day. My dad will come over during the day sometimes. So she's not always going to be alone. Um, it's really, really tough on me. Like yesterday when I went and did that photography thing, like I was gone for like three or four hours and I was like oh my god like I need to get home and see this kid so it's gonna be tough being away from him for eight hours but I think I think overall it'll be okay um, I had a train of thought and I lost it but anyway I think everything is gonna be alright I guess is the general point I was trying to make another thing um, people told us that this thing wasn't really that good but we found it to be really really useful is the diaper genie mm -hmm. um, people were like oh it's such a hassle and, I mean you know like when you're clipping the bag out, Tracy, uh, well, you did it easier than me the other day when you changed yeah, the bag. Yeah, trouble with it. But, um, we need to get a refill. It's not bad, and it does keep that room from smelling like crap, uh, literally. So, I think they're super useful, um, and maybe, you know, well, the thing is, is his diaper amount's gonna, we've already changed the bag twice, and it's been 12 days, um, but... So far, it's been super useful. If you have a, if you're having a baby or anything, personally, I think the diaper genie is super super cool, and it's not hard to use. You literally just put the diaper in there, you push until the thing, until it can drop in, and then you just pull your hand out and it closes it off. I don't know. Um, like I said, I've heard several people talk about how they're not useful, and then you know, once you have another child, you're just uh, you just bag it up in the trash. But as of right now, it's been super super useful. I just wanted to talk about some of that stuff for a little bit because I still wanted to do a video for you guys and vlogs aren't changing. They're going to be here. It's just this was the last day that I was going to be home with the kid and I want to spend today with him because I'll be going back to work. Tracy's going to get to spend all kinds of time with him. She had to get up and go check on him. He started kind of moaning a little bit. Not crying. He's, he's already asleep. So, um, But anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk about that. Again, this channel is not changing. It's not going to be a parental type of thing. I'm still going to be me, still doing the stuff, still cubing stuff and going out and probably going to play in VR and I'm going snowboarding. I'm doing a whole bunch of different stuff. So like things are going to keep happening. Uh, it's just with a baby, it's going to be part of my life now. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Um, we do stuff every single day around here. Tracy's becoming more comfortable with being on camera, so that's cool. So it won't be just my big, stupid, fat-looking mug on camera all the time, which is cool. Plus this little cute dude. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, do you have anything for the camera? Nothing? Yep, I'm good. Uh, yeah, guys, and we will see you tomorrow.